Hey guys, so finally getting around to remaking my bummy video uh, with the cups sewn on flat. Finally doing it with some sound. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so pattern pieces. This is the front. This is the back. Waistband and leg band. My stretch is going this way. This is the grain. And this is my stretch. the front and the back on uh, attach the sides so if you saw I was doing a notch in the back so that's how I know where the back is and then I just do a little slit for the front you could see that right there and that's how I know um, how I differentiate my pattern pieces from the back to the front so I'm gonna lay them right sides together and sew on just the side seams. Okay, so here is the side sewn on. We haven't sewn the crotch. We are going to take our bummy piece, line up wrong sides together, okay. Now I like to fold it in half to find the center. Put a pin. I grab the top. Now this is the right side. I line it up to the top and I pin this in place sideways. And then if you want to pin this middle in, you can. go down to the bottom and pin that one in place. So now you attach this, get it started. And on this side I will cut a little bit more off. So I get it in there. And then this is where I'll pull. So I'm pulling just until it stretches to make this even. You don't want to overstretch, you just want to stretch enough. Now when I come to the pin, I pull it out and I snip this point off. I mean, I surge right over it. And then I grab the bottom and I pull that also. And 
sewed straight to the end. And then take this one out, and snip. So sometimes if I don't pull all the way, I will have a little bit of an overhang. And that's fine because we're gonna serge right over it. So now another way, kind of the faster way once you get going, is I will just pin the center only. So I use clips too. And then I line up right sides. And I grab my middle and my clip and I'll kind of just hold them in place together and pull. I will grab both ends, line them up, and pull. Open bummy with the leg bands attached. And I like to go through and make sure that I attached all the layers. There's no holes. None of the pieces are missing. All right, so now I bring the two crotch pieces together. And I line them up. So then this is your one leg hole. And then line up the other leg hole. And I'm gonna trim off just a little bit. I snip I leave a long tail and for these I either use a long eye needle snip a little bit off so something like this and I'll put it through thread it and push. And then I like to still snip close to it. And then I'll pull. for the waistband. The waistband I sew it on using the ham, hot ham method. So here is my long waistband piece. 
I bring the short ends together, right sides together, and then fold that in half. One, I will trim close and pull these threads and then tie the knot. months this works great for um, like really little babies like newborn size or zero to three three to six because it's hard to get in this little kind of leg cuff area um, this is also great for the dolly bummies so if you're doing like your mini cane American Girl doll all of that super easy I even do the, the waistbands flat also for those if you want to see a video on that I can do that um, but that's it thank you for waiting an entire year if not more for this video uh, I do plan on making a ton more sewing videos and shirt videos with my white toner printer embroidery videos so uh, give me a thumbs up subscribe like share uh, all that new stuff and uh, bear with me while we get this channel uh, up and going. Thanks guys. Bye